if we think about it, first of all, there, there is women um, in, the, in the car business, mm-hmm. but I think for a majority are still men. And a lot of men, we've been taught, right? Men don't cry. Exactly. Stop being a wuss. Get up, shrug, you know, just shrug off your knees and let's go. Come on. And we're not, a, we, were, we were conditioned that way. That's a program and a condition, the mindset that we have that men are allowed, men are allowed to cry. And it goes back to my dad. I remember when my, when my mom passed away. That was the only time I saw my dad cry besides, you know, I think when, when, he, when she was diagnosed with, when my mom first got sick. But mm-hmm. he never really cried until my mom left us. But I say that because we need to change that conditioning and we need to realize that we need to allow our emotions to come up. We, we need to give, I, w- I would tell my team this, right? You have to set the boundaries for your organization. You have to set the, the expectations for your dealership. And I would go in there and I would tell my team, because when I took over at the GSM, we were losing a million dollars a month. I mean, a million dollars a year. I okay. like, they're, like, why, they're like, why did you take that job? Like you were doing good where you were at. You were doing very well, but I wasn't being challenged anymore. And I was up for the challenge. But once I was in there, I was like, oh crap, what did I get myself into? But something miraculous happened is I said, I'm going to be honest with you guys, ladies and gentlemen. I said, we're going to make a shitload of mistakes yep. and make them. I want you to make them because <laughs> yes. that's how that's how we're going to learn. But I'll tell you this. The moment you make the same mistake twice, we're going to have a serious conversation and you're not, you might not be working here. It's, it's cool. You gave him permission, though. You got to give him permission yes. to do something. And I, I gave him the permission. And you, I'll tell you what, by giving him that permission... You would think we'd have hundreds of mistakes. We would have hardly any. We would have them. But just giving somebody that peace of knowing that I'm not going to get it. Because think about it. What's, what's the mindset of the GM? If our numbers ain't right, we'll bring another team. It's That's that, exactly it's that right. yep. dictator. And, and they put that pressure on you. And that, that way of running dealerships, is it, it's no longer working. So you really got to just connect in a deeper level and allow your people to just to voice themselves. And something that I would do, something that we started doing at a Nissan store is really just Instead of having a huddle to talk about training, it's a, it's a huddle to say, hey, well, how are you doing this morning? What, how, what, what can we help you with? Do you have any questions or what's going on with the family? Or just mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. just connect with the people at a different level. That, that's what true leadership is about. Well, you're you're say, giving them permission to be a people. Yes, you know? like, exactly. I mean, look, the rest of the world already thinks we're a bunch of robots because we sell cars and we're heartless, soulless, soulless people. <laughs> or, you know, beings, yes. right? You know, and but. Why would they not think that? Because as an industry, we've treated ourselves people like that. No, I'm not saying everybody. There's some amazing <laughs> dealerships out there. There really are. There's some amazing dealerships that do it and execute exactly what we're talking about. But if you want to connect with salespeople and you want to have that giving mindset, all right, you have to get to a place where you can emotionally connect with someone. And to do that, first things first in your dealership, you have to give permission. Just like if, if you want to get past your failures, you have to give permission for people to fail. 